All right, boys. Hello and welcome to another episode of How to Dominate. This will be How to Dominate episode, I think, 40? I can't remember. I've recorded them so many times, I don't know how many of them we've done. I think this is episode 40. We're going to be playing Mash GE today. Probably the best low ELO 1v9 champion that there is. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to show you how I play him, how I get ahead, etc. Uh, for runes, we're going Conqueror, Triumph, Legend of Alacrity, Coup de Gras, um, Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter, and then pretty standard attack speed, attack damage, and armor for this. We should just walk in if we're going to do it. They know. Okay. It's back. We're just wasting so much time. Okay. I'm going to start topside here. So Master Yi is not like super good uh, before 6. You kind of just want to look for free um, auto attacks or free uh, free kills with your Q. Like if you can just auto Q them and they die, that's like ideal. If not, you just want to be farming. And you don't, you, like this is a champion you just absolutely cannot fall behind on. You fall behind on Yi, the game's over. So you have to make sure that you are looking for all the opportunities possible. You want to try to like dodge an auto attack, waste some time with your um, Q. So when you're doing this camp here, you don't want to use your E until the end of the of the camp. If you use your E, then you lose um, you lose your stats. So it's better to just be chill with it and not uh, not spam your E on every camp. Like here, it's better for me to just keep it than to have used it. It's the same amount of autos either way. And here, it looks like mid is fighting. Died. How much dollar dollar for you to play Karma or Leona jungle? No dollar dollar, dude. I'll turn that off in a second. That's my bad. So with this, I can't really go for um, an early crab like I would want to. I can, but it's just kind of risky. When you're clearing a bunch of camps like this in a row, I'd rather not use my um, E as well. So this you just kill with two Qs. That camp's dead. Now we'll do this next camp. Blue. So I turned on my E right on my uh, double auto. I'm gonna check. Okay, so this is warded. They saw me. Can't really go for that because mid and bot have priority. So I'm just gonna have to standardly full clear here. That's how it goes. Okay, I turn on my E again in that situation. When I was gonna walk to river, that's when I started using my E. Mid says, can I have some help? And he has a counter lane. By me walking at him here, it allows him to go for the solo kill. Okay, there we go. We should push here. Yeah, it's really free matchup for him. Obviously there, he probably would have lost. This guy's missing a lot of his things, but I want to help him push it in. And I also gain off that. It's not like a pure loss if I'm helping him push. I'm gonna drop my pink and then go to my uh, golems. Gonna do this first though. Wanted to see if this is still up. So now I'm gonna go back to um, golems. Just by walking here, it gives him enough pressure. Like, then Aurelia can't walk the turret. And with Aurelia not being able to walk the turret there, Yasuo can chase him down. 
If I'm not there though, Yasuo won't be able to get that kill. Aurelia will be able to just chase him down. Aurelia was actually stronger there. These do a lot of damage, but I choose not to uh, smite right here. Prefer smiting on race. Do this. Actually go okay so he so the Mumu showed bot I'm gonna look for his Grom because I think his Grom should be up right now he didn't get anything off the bot Yankee there good timing here counter jungling really important on Master Yi And I'm just going to leave one up. <clears throat> he really messed that up. But okay. Just going to E out. Got his Ignite at least. I could W this, but I'm just going to choose to walk it out. I also just needed to trade back with him there. Just go all in and we kill him for sure. Because the Aurelia still had no flash. It's all good though. My ult's pretty quick cooldown, so I don't lose too much for that. It's just obviously I'd prefer to have got that kill. Okay, good kill from Riven. Now, one thing you have to consider now is Dragon gives way more golden experience than it used to. So, like, getting. Dragon, like, once you have your um, Blood Razor, going for Dragon in a jungle rotation is actually not bad. Or if I see him go top on the ward, I can just take Dragon for free. We're fighting over here, but I'm not there, which kind of sucks. I'm going to take Top Crab and then maybe... Uh, I could potentially go for his next Grom spawn, but I'm not 100% sure when it is because I didn't time it. Could get his blue potentially. I think the better play is walking bot here and not wasting any time. 100% what I'd prefer. This guy used ignite on me. Honestly, trading my ult for ignite is fine. Like normally, I'd like to have picked off a couple kills by now, but this is also completely fine with Master Yi. Just farming in smart ways is good. That sucks. We knew he was bot too because we saw him. We fought anyway. I want this uh, guy to come with me here. I think we can do it. Was good. Oh, and I had to get an assist there. It's perfect. He wasn't considering Twitch coming back to lane there. That's great. I mean, they got Cloud, but we got three kills for it. It's worth. He got one. Okay, so here I'm gonna go for Ginsu's. He should not be doing these. He should run straight mid and push. This wave is pushing. Okay. So yeah, here I'm gonna go for Ginsu's. I I like um, Ginsu's. 
I, I think I kind of over prioritize right now. It's really good um, in certain games. Like here, they don't have like a lot of tanks. So I think Ginsu is, is just really solid on Ye. It helps stack your um, passive. I, I didn't like it as much at first, but now it just feels super nice to me. I'm about to pull like two levels ahead of a Mumu. I think we can kill top pretty easily. Gonna look for that play, potentially. I'm actually just gonna look immediately. Uh, I wanted Riven to play a little bit more up and then we could have killed. They definitely saw me on a ward there though. Gotta be careful of Amumu right now. Man, I tried to uh, alpha that. That sucks. Riven just had pri or Rengar just had priority and he fucked us there. I could have tried to run through the Rengar. I think that might have been the better play. You're walking straight to the bush. Okay, so if he ran up there, he would have lived 100%. He still might live, but it's just not the right way he should have played it here. He's got to dodge the E. Yeah, he dodged one of these. It's good enough. Good rotation down from Rengar. I'm gonna walk down actually. Ooh, this ult that. That's a pretty kill by the way. Kind of a weird ult. I think we just go for uh, bot turret damage here. Mashi is one of the best champions in the game at getting bot turret damage, so I don't mind doing it. Oh wow, this guy just walked in and killed himself. Okay, I'm gonna walk here. Flash on the lantern. Oh wait, there's a guy right here. Damn, we would have been able to win that if Rengar wasn't here. I'm surprised a Rengar was bottom. He doesn't have flash. Just walked all the way bottom right there. Flashing on the lantern was good. I guess chasing, because Amuma had no ult there, which is why I chased. But it ended up not being good because Rengar was bottom, and the Twitch obviously just like wasn't able to help me there. If Rengar wasn't bottom, it would be great to do that because. They would just be forced to run. Very high chance we kill Thresh. Because I can stall for a long time. Okay. I think they could have turned that. I'm about to be really strong though. Like once I get Ginsu's, I'll start chopping people up. And I still have my whole jungle to farm, so that's another positive here. I'm going to want to split a lot this game. Once we get into like the mid game. I might have no ult. I think he's gonna go for turret. I'm gonna try to proc this. Okay, got his flash. It's 100% worth. I was trying to time my uh, Q with, with when I thought he was gonna throw his E, but it didn't really matter. Oh god, whatever. He can take it, I guess. Wanted that. But yeah, trading my ult for flash, completely worth. And also because I chunked him out. High chance that Riven's able to get um, top turret here. Bot's just dying on cooldown. That's what it is, though. So here, they're going to get Dragon. I'm going to take Rift Herald. I have to. Even though I don't really want to before I have Ginsu's because it's kind of slow. I have to right here.
tried to time it with the charge. It's kind of hard to alpha the charge, but you can alpha the um, strikes of it pretty easily. Right there. One of the good things though is like your Ravenous Hunter works on damage on the eye, so you actually get huge heal here. So there I um, I used my Meditate on some of the Rengar damage and then I was just able to um, Q afterwards. Somebody else got Rift, should probably use it. Um, then I was able to Q afterwards, like use the reset as much as I could. It's really good for us overall though. We get three for one and we get mid turret. Potentially top turret if he chooses to spawn Rift, it looks like he's not going to. But yeah, this is a good sp spot for me. I'll be able to do a lot of damage soon. I'm going to go Sterex and um, Sterex and QSS. Going to definitely need a QSS this game versus Mumu. A Mumu Thresh. And G with Ginsu's, I can really start splitting. Like, we're in a 1v1, me versus the Rengar, I'll just destroy him with Ginsu's if I have it stacked. Even through his exhaust. Like, his exhaust doesn't even matter because the Ginsu's makes my... Um, it makes my, like, auto go twice, which, with my E, becomes true damage, so... I can just obliterate somebody like that now. I mean, this is kind of strange though. Lost our... I think I'm gonna go bot here. Uh, we're paying to fight. I guess we can fight. I'm looking. So this will be like a cleanup type fight for me. Wasn't able to get like the engage that we really wanted, but it's okay. I think that this is gone. Gonna maybe go for golems. I could have just stayed bot there to be honest, but I wasn't sure if my team was gonna be able to win it without me. Thinking about just resetting here. I think that's what I am gonna do. If I go Tabby's into QSS. If I stayed bot, I could have definitely got a turret, but maybe they could have turned. Not 100% sure. In a fight, it's always better to have your Gensu stacked, which is why splitting so good on Mastery, because you can stack your Gensu's off the wave, and then if they come near, you just start autoing them um, and try to dodge whatever ability they have with your Q. I'm so sick of this fucking company. The trash! Mm. Mm. I was thinking about flash queuing to the wave. I don't know, it just seemed like a bad play. This guy is uh, super strong, and he had a lantern. Our Twitch somehow got solo killed by him, just like instantly killed. I don't. I really don't want to be participating in all these team fights. I'm kind of just getting sucked into them, but uh, I want to be splitting right now because they're like they're pretty tanky. I don't have my three items yet uh, with Starax. Just really hard game for me to play. No. Why is the spot in some days? Okay. Go in. This is like when we want to be fighting. I don't care about this. Like. Oh, I was so close to getting my um my triumph proc. We just need to kill the front line. Obviously, I didn't have ult there, so it's just not a great fight. But once I get my Sterex, like, we win this game super hard. It just sucks that, like, I'm just dying in all these team fights. Probably the most unlucky Master Yi game we've had so far, but it's all good. I'm 
still in a position. Like, we're not behind. We just haven't got... A, we haven't just snowballed super far ahead. Getting cooked there was okay, though. Like, there's no um, real threat in that situation. We want to engage. We want to go in. And at least I have five Ravenous Hunter procs, which works really well with my um, E and my uh, Q. So I'll be able to heal a lot. I was actually really close to surviving. If I just got... If I survived, like, one more second in my... Um, Meditate, then I would have got my Conqueror proc. What is, wasn't even one second, it was lower than that, to be honest. Yeah, when you play this champion in lower yellow, it'll be even easier to snowball. It's really easy to just get like one big pop off fight and just have the game end. Looks like they're trying to get my red. I really don't like this play. Okay, that was like the um, small pop. I flashed like half an inch for an auto there, but it ended up being so useful. And just knowing to like combo, like I meditated to get one of the procs and then I autoed so that I could um, get my other proc immediately. I'm not gonna smite here, there's nothing that can steal. Even though I have two smite charges, it's a complete waste if there's no one close enough to steal. So that's really big. That's like what I need to snowball ahead. Probably just gonna complete my Sterics here. Let's do one way for it, I guess. Oh, we got it from bot lane. Okay, it's really big. And then I'll go QSS after. Not sure if they're reds up. Probably not, okay. That's not good. It was fine to look for the pig if he walked in, but as soon as he didn't walk in, we needed to back out. Oh, God. You hate to see this. I'm just backing. Like, we're, we're going to throw the game here. You can already tell. And as Master Yu, you're a carry, so I got to make sure that I'm able to carry. Yeah, it was okay to sit in the bush. As soon as he warded it and he walked back, instead of like the Tom Kench walking in, he needed to just walk back like I did. We're fine there. I actually think I should be splitting with this Baron quite a bit. Just sucks because they have more people than us around. Wow, and we lost the 1v1 bot. This is really unfortunate. Unlucky right here. They're just winning like a bunch of 1v1s all over the map, and it's not allowing me to do anything. So I took that fight because they can't kill me, actually. Like, they don't have enough damage with their builds. So as soon as he ults, I don't actually need QSS in that type of situation. I need QSS when there's more people around. But they just won, like, three 1v1s in a row, which is really tragic. I can't get here, so it's really all up to him.
So one of the things you have to get good at is buying time with your W when you play Master Yi. It's like one of the only things you need to be concentrated on. Is here so I can be ready to fight. Once I get 16, that's another power spike for me. Okay. Gonna be be buying Ginsu's now. We're just like getting picked all over the map. Tell my team to stop getting picked. I actually have a huge shutdown on me. Think about what I want to get last item here. Last Whisper isn't that great on Master Yi. Essence Reaver might not be bad, actually. So I'm gonna need to save my QSS for a Moomoo fights, most likely. Like this. We go for the Ezreal here. We win the game off that. Just one really good Master E fight. You just come in, kill everyone. Actually, maybe we don't win. Mm. Depends. I think we should take this and go Baron. Wait, I can't get out? I can't get out of his stomach. I'm gonna back out. <coughs> yeah. Now we get free Baron. Because he's dead. I was debating whether or not I wanted to QSS the hook, but I ended up doing it. <coughs> it was actually pretty late QSS. <coughs> I couldn't decide if I wanted to like save it for a Mumu potentially or like what I wanted to do there. We need people to be here. Oh my god, I got stunned right there. That's so sad. That actually was about to be the pop-off. That was actually like about to be the game-winning fight. Mm. I guess I should have went for that. It's pretty risky. I'm potentially I'm thinking about potentially going death stance. Okay. I'm actually gonna go Death Dance here. I wanted to try it. I think it's actually pretty good in this situation. The other options are I could have won GA and, and uh, improved, uh, or whatever, Mercurial Scimitar. Which I could still, mm, I 
Could be good, man. It could be good. I'm, I'm going to try out Death Dance. So I think Death Dance is pretty strong in this game. Nowadays. Especially with the buffs that it just got. Just fight with me and we win, I think. Get blue here. They might just be marching down mid. It's kind of scary. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna walk in here. I think we just win the game off this fight. Like we have really good angles. really good Q off. I dodged like a bunch of shit with the Q. Ended up being GG. Yeah, that's how you, you play the cleanup slash carry role with this champion. Yasuo the hyper carry. Yeah, Death Dance is super nice with Master Yi now. I want to talk about it. So, D Death Dance just got a buff. It feels really good with Master Yi. So, the reason why it's good is before Master Yi, like, you, do, you did, um, like, magic damage with your um, Ginsu's and stuff, right? And uh, the double proc on your Ginsu's, like, uh, allows your true damage to come in more, which is why Ginsu's is super nice on Master Yi. Um, but the true damage didn't actually, like, scale with Death Dance before. Because Death Dance used to not be all damage, it was only physical damage, so it wasn't that great of an item. You just had a lot of damage coming in that wasn't necessarily um, useful I'm so for sick of this fucking you. But now, with new Death trash. Dance, the true damage that gets doubled, which is actually pretty substantial late game, that ends up being a huge um, huge amount of healing that you get in team fights, which makes Death Dance a lot better. We can go and look at uh, damage dealt this game, see what it, see what it's like. Yeah, so we did most damage on our team. Obviously, Ezreal did most damage in the game. He was just sitting there poking with Qs. But overall, man, I think this was a pretty good mastery game. Obviously, the early situations weren't ideal. I wish that I would, like, got more of the kills and less assists in the early game. But as soon as we um, got our items, like, we got into a bunch of really good team fights, And we were able to just snowball through the game. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. We'll upload this one to the YouTube. It's been hard to come by the How to Dominates recently because with all the troll games. But this was a rare game where... Didn't see anyone actually running it down, so that's good. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out.